Each semester, a member of the graduating class is selected for the honor of presenting a student commencement address. This afternoon, that honor belongs to Tijon Washington of Bartow, Florida, who's graduating with a bachelor's degree in criminal justice. Tejan is proof that academic success is rooted in part in class attendance. He never missed a day of school, grades one through 12. At Bartow Senior High School, he lettered multiple years in basketball and football, earning a full athletic scholarship to play for the Colonels, from whom he played several positions on the offensive line. He has been involved in numerous community projects, such as Habitat for Humanity, Madison County Food Bank, Telford YMCA swimming lessons, and others. While employed at the Richmond Teen Center, Tejan has mentored and tutored children's ages 6 to 16. He carries a GPA of 3.64, is a member of Phi Kappa Phi Honor Society, and plans to enter graduate school here this fall and pursue a master's of public policy degree. Eventually, Tejan will plans to attend law school in Florida and become an in-house attorney for a sports team. Sharing in his special day today are his mother, O.B. Washington, his fiancee, Michelle, and other members of his family. I know they are proud of Tejan as we are. It is my pleasure and privilege now to introduce the student speaker for this afternoon's commencement program, Tejan Washington. Good afternoon, everybody. To President Whitlock, members of the Board of Regents, distinguished guests, faculty and staff, family members, friends, and to my fellow Colonel graduates. Colonel Nation, we have done it. We have made the pilgrimage from our starting point to our finish line. To the great class of 2010, for this race, we have won. This is truly a day to rejoice and be proud of who you are, what you represent, and everything that you have accomplished to get to this point in time. Words cannot express how truly honored, humble, and proud I am to be standing before you and with you on this day. I have to throw out some well-deserved thank yous to some very special people. First, I would like to take the opportunity to thank God for getting the class of 2010 where we are today. <laughs> Secondly, let us all give a round of applause to the hardworking faculty of this great institution. <laughs> to professors like Mr. Tommy Norris, Dr. Carol Garrison, and Dr. Norman Spain, I will forever be grateful. Additionally, I would like to thank my mother, Obi, my Aunt Judy, my Uncle Hugh, my fiance, Michelle, my late grandparents, Robert and Wealthy Grimes, and to the rest of my entire family whose love and support helped me to be able to stand before you today. Most importantly, I give a special thanks to my fellow Colonel graduates for making EKU such a special place. You are all what makes this place magical, exciting, and fun. I won't trouble you long today, but with the time allotted, we'll attempt to address two questions that may be on your mind. As you sit proudly in the chairs of accomplishment and achieved status, you may be asking yourselves, what is our legacy and what will we do next? Many would say that our legacy is that we were one of the hardest working graduation classes in the United States. Many times we burnt the midnight oil in the Crab Library until one o'clock in the morning and then make the journey over to the Student Services Building where we would continue our studies and pull all-nighters. We were a class that excelled in our sports arena with championships in almost every sport. We have students in our class whose academic genius is almost scary. On to the other question, which is, where do we go from here? 
The answer may not be something that jumps out at you. It is something that requires serious, sound thought. However, always remember that the sky is truly our limit. And with the knowledge, tools, and experience we have gained here at this great institution, we can fly as high as the stars. Also, whatever you decide to do, make sure it's something that you enjoy. Find a job that makes you happy because life is too short to work at one that does not. Before I leave, I just want to make a few closing comments. We as a class have achieved what some critics said could not be done. We have done wonderful things for this community, from building homes with Habitat for Humanity, visiting kids at Shriners Hospital, collecting food for the Madison County Food Bank, among a host of other things as well. When we leave Richmond, we will be leaving it a better place for everyone. We are ready for any challenge that may come our way. We are Eastern Kentucky colonels who exemplify the unbridled spirit of Kentucky. I have no doubt in my mind that we will be successful in any of our chosen vocations because we are from Eastern Kentucky University. Finally, I just want to leave you with a short poem. And the author is unknown. And it's called Limitations. The poem reads, I don't even recognize them as limitations. There is no challenge I can't conquer. There is no wall I can't climb over. There is no problem I can't defeat or turn around and make it work for me. Limitless. EKU then, now, and forever. God bless you all, class of 2010. We did it. Thank you, Tejan. It occurs to me, members of the faculty, that our efforts at developing critical and creative thinking and communication skills might just be working. <laughs> <laughs>